stayed up late and watched the debate. I'm all ready for bed and everything. I've watched the fall on my makeup and everything. But let me tell you something. I just have to ask the question. How, how, how can there be debate after debate after debate and the biggest crisis that's facing our country, homelessness is never mentioned. Homelessness is never mentioned. You've got climate change. You've got abortion. And you've got the already conquered uh, issue of racism. The major uh, obstacles, the major um problem of racism was erased in 1865 and then again in 1965 we passed all of those legal grounds so the democrats have to rehash 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 and they are refusing 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 to discuss to even put it on the table the issue of homelessness and let me tell you something you see them in um, in the media, they don't bring it up in the media because they know, they know they would be a laughing stock. They cannot bring up homelessness uh, with a straight face. There's no wiggle room for Kamala to come out um, bringing up uh, her 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 lies actually on how she was as a prosecutor or how she performed with, with homelessness because they've turned their back completely and as far as the numbers they have increased and are increasing in California they're increasing in Nancy Pelosi's district as I put footage in another video I may even link that one here if I get an opportunity to but let me tell you what Homelessness is a crisis that intersects with so many other things. It intersects with uh, black Americans. That is the real crisis if you want to talk about black Americans being in jeopardy. When you've got 40% of uh, single mothers, 40% of the homeless population in California are single mothers, single black mothers. And you see black people sleeping on the streets. But you know what? We're not talking about just race. There is every segment of the population. And how they can continually, decade after decade after decade, debate after debate after debate, ignore it. Trump is the only president, and please correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Trump is the only president who has ever, ever given hope to people who are living on the streets, who are living homeless. The Democrats cannot take any credit for it. And why they continue to dehumanize and demonize people on the streets and offer no assistance. You know, they, they love to give handouts, but nothing in the way of hand ups. Nothing in the way. I mean, they let people sleep on the streets. They're liberal when it comes to letting people sleep on the streets. But as far as give them giving them any assistance to get off the streets, they just let people stay stuck there, stay stuck, and 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 waste away. Literally, it's just sickening how the Democrats have let this get out of control. How liberal cities have let this get out of control. So it is just unbelievable how the moderator sits there. And we I knew it wasn't going to be on her list of topics. But they should be so ashamed. They're running on a platform where they're not even challenged. No one even challenges them about homelessness. Because if they did, they would lose hands down. And don't you think, because they talk all of this um, liberal and marginalized people, that they're the ones that's going to be able to help homelessness. No, they, they're not. That is strictly the Republicans. If you want to hear about homelessness, you're going to hear about it in Fox News. You're not going to hear about it on these liberal outlets. 
But anyway, this was just another example of how they ignore us. But anyway, this was just another example of how they ignore the biggest crisis, which makes them easy to to deceive the American people. The biggest crisis, which makes them easy to to deceive the American people, and um, continue to pre present policies uh, and argue policies that are not even relevant to our times. All right, this is lit. Uh, it's night. I don't know when you're going to hear this. It's the night after the the VP debate. Um, I think Pence uh, held his own, did a wonderful job, um, and and made Kamala look like you know the 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 liar, the deceiver that she is. And 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 uh, I, I'm proud of him. Very very happy. But uh, that's pretty much all I have to say tonight. This is, uh, I'm Lit. This is Lit's Talk. And uh, this is brought to you from As the Third World in North America Turns. And I'll talk to you soon.